Last August 5, 2019, the Development Bank of the Philippines and Department of Environment and Natural Resources renewed its partnership by signing a Memorandum of Agreement on the DPP's Tree Plantation Financing Program, now known as the Agroforestry Plantation Program. A partnership built on trust, focus, and mutuality, with DENR providing technical assistance to DBP in the evaluation of qualified beneficiaries of APP and to the latter to allow qualified borrowers of the program access thereto. The Sustainable Agribusiness Financing Program is the bank's umbrella program for the agricultural sector. The SAFPI program aims to promote agribusiness for countryside development and enhance competitiveness and productivity of farmers and fisherfolk in the country by providing financial assistance for agribusiness projects. Under DBP SAFPI, we have the Agroforestry Plantation Program, otherwise known as APP. The said financing program intends to aid in the development and maintenance of existing tree plantations, assist communities and tree growers to improve economic conditions, and further address deforestation and reduce susceptibility of communities to natural disasters by providing credit assistance for the development, maintenance, protection, and expansion of existing tree plantations, including harvesting and processing of produce. The eligibility criteria under APP depends on the type of land. If public land, the proponent shall have valid tenurial agreements with DNR and approved and valid management plan. While for private land, the proponent shall have a certificate of tree plantation ownership from DENR. Eligible borrowers under the program include plantation operators, tenure holders, LGUs, people's organizations, and PO federations who are registered with the SEC, DTI, DOLE, or CDA with at least 5 to 40,000 hectares of open area. Eligible loan purposes include working capital, acquisition of machinery and equipment, and establishment of facilities. The APP only caters to specific species or commodities such as roundwood, fuel wood, woody biomass, bamboo, rattan, coffee, cacao, rubber, and other fruit-bearing trees. The loan shall be utilized to finance the cost of tree plantation and agroforestry projects, including but not limited to the following Plantation development Plantation expansion Plantation maintenance and protection Acquisition of pre-harvest and post-harvest equipment Harvesting of mature species Establishment of facilities Development of project site as ecotourism destination under APP, the loanable amount is up to 80% of the total project cost, while for LGUs, the maximum loanable amount is 90% of the total project cost or the winning bid price. The two facilities under the program are the term loan facility, which should be based on the projected cash flow but shall not exceed 15 years inclusive of grace period, and credit line based on the cash conversion cycle but not more than 360 days. Allowable grace period under the program is up to 7 years depending on the type of plantation. The interest rate shall be based on the prevailing market rate. Well, the mode of release can be lump sum or staggered releases in accordance with the progress accomplishments of the finance project. Terms and conditions under APP are as follows. Borrower shall make DBP its major depository bank and shall open accounts as follows. Debt service payment account, sinking fund account, and operating account. For plantation development of roundwood, there should be existing 4-year-old standing trees in at least 1% of the total area. 6-year-old standing trees for a tan plantation. 
borrower should open a sinking fund where 1% of the annual gross income based on the audited financial statement will be deposited annually. Borrowers are highly encouraged to plant native trees in the area maintained for biodiversity. Management plans including CDMP, IMP, and CRMF are submitted and shall have up to 10 years of effectivity. Insurance cover in all insurable assets endorsed in favor of BBP. Acceptable collateral are any of the following. Real estate mortgage, chattel mortgage, assignment of insurance or guarantee coverage from PCIC or other insurance companies acceptable to DBP, assignment of supply contract or receivables, continuing suretyship or co-makership, hold out on deposit, deed of assignment of specified portion of IRA for LGUs, and other security arrangements acceptable to DBP. Documentary requirements for eligible borrowers are Letter of Intent, BBP Application Forms, Photocopy of Valid Government-Issued IDs of the Principal or Authorized Signatory, Certified True Copy of Transfer Certificate of Title or Title Lease Agreement or Tenurial Agreement, Audited Financial Statements and Income Tax Returns for the last three years duly stamped by the BIR. Latest Business Permit CDMP, IMP, CRMF, and FYWP or business plan. Certificate of tree plantation ownership from DENR for private lands and endorsement letter from DENR. The pre-release requirements for harvesting related projects are cutting and transport permits from DENR if applicable and market agreement. Pre-release requirements for acquisition of wood processing plants are Wood Processing Plant Permit from DENR and Market Agreement Post-release requirements for plantation development are Borrower to secure insurance coverage from PCIC and Annual Accomplishment Report